Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the Nernst equation. In my previous video, I have already explained how we can calculate the value of electrode potential of any cell at standard condition. Standard condition means the temperature of the system must be 25 degrees Celsius and the concentration of electrolyte must be 1 M. But what if the system is not given at standard condition that is the temperature is not equal to 25 degrees Celsius and the concentration is not equal to 1 M. Then how will we calculate the value of electrode potential of that cell? Well, that problem was solved by a German chemist Walther Nernst. He derived a formula by using which we can calculate the value of electrode potential of any cell at any condition. So in this video, we are going to derive that expression and we are going to see some special cases related to Nernst equation as well. So let's start. We know how to calculate the value of standard electrode potential of any cell by using the formula E0 cell is equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. This degree represents standard condition. This formula can also be written as E0 reduction half minus E0 oxidation half. Similarly, it can be written as E0 right minus E0 left. Whichever formula we use, we can get the value of inert cell. We know in a galvanic cell, there are two halves, one oxidation half, another reduction half. So if we know the value of standard electrode potential of both the half, then we can find the value of the standard electrode potential of the overall cell. Here, standard, standard condition simply means the temperature should be 25 degrees Celsius that is 298 Kelvin and concentration must be equal to 1 M. So this is how we can calculate the value of standard electrode potential of the overall cell. But what if we need to calculate the value of only electrode potential that means not at standard condition. The temperature should not be equal to 25 degrees Celsius and the concentration should not be equal to 1 M. So, temperature not equal to 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin and concentration is not equal to 1 M. Now, this is the case in which we need to find the value of electrode potential. Right now, I am not saying standard electrode potential because this is not a standard condition. Okay. So, if we need to calculate only the electrode potential at any condition, then we can't use this formula and that was a very big problem. That's why Walther Nernst derived an equation to calculate the value of electrode potential of any cell at any condition. Now, let's derive that formula. We know that the electrode potential depends on the temperature as well as the concentration. If the temperature and concentration changes, then the value of electrode potential of the cell will also change. And by considering that, Walther Nernst considered a general reaction. That reaction is AA plus BB gives CC plus DD. This is a reversible reaction where the small a, b, c and d are stoichiometric coefficient. These are just put to balance the reactants and products and a, b, c and d are the constituents. Or we can say that reactants as well as the products. Then for this type of general reaction, we can use the Van t Hoff reaction isotherm using Van t Hoff reaction isotherm using Van t Hoff reaction isotherm, we can apply a formula that is minus del G is equal to RT ln K minus RT ln the concentration of the product that is C to the power its coefficient into concentration of another product to the power its coefficient divide by concentration of reactant its coefficient into concentration of another reactant its power. So this is the formula 
of Van Hoff reaction isotherm. We can use this formula over here. Let us consider this to be equation number one. Now we need to find the value of standard free energy change and to do that we just have to replace these concentrations by one. The concentration of reactant and product is one only at the standard condition. Okay, so for for unit concentrations for unit concentrations what we can do minus del G not because if we are considering the concentration of reactants and products to be one then this change in free energy will be in the standard case okay standard free energy change will be equal to rt ln k minus look at here rt ln this whole value will be one ln one natural log one is zero so we can put zero over here and then this will be minus del g not equal to rt ln k this is equation number two so we can replace this value from equation number one by equation number two let me do it over here from one and two from equation one and two what can we write minus del g is equal to minus del g not minus rt ln c c into d d by a a into b b so this is what we get when we replace the value of this rt ln k from equation uh, from equation 1 by equation 2 that is replaced by minus del g not that is standard free energy change now there is a formula that relates electrochemistry and thermodynamics that formula gives the value of the free energy change in terms of emf or electrode potential so now we know that formula is del g minus del g is equal to n f e equation number three okay sorry this is equation number three let us consider this to be equation number four where this n is number of electrons number of electrons flowing in the circuit and this f is faraday's constant faraday's constant its value is 96500 coulombs and E means electrode potential, electrode potential of the cell. Okay, so this is the formula of minus del G. So by seeing this formula in standard condition, del G naught will be equal to minus N F E naught, right? This is equation number five. Now our next step is replacing the value of minus del G and minus del G naught from equation number three by using equation number four and five. In this place, we can write these values. For that, let me read this portion. Now we are going to use equation number four and five in equation number three. That will give us the value of E cell. Let's do that using equation 4 and 5 in equation number 3 then what will we get in place of minus del g we can write n f e is equal to in place of minus del g naught we can put minus n f e naught minus sorry n f e naught i'm sorry there should be no minus over here and there will be minus and what is written over there rt ln concentration of c to the power c into concentration of d to the power d divided by concentration of a to the power a into concentration of b to the power b now we can take this nf to decide it will be e is equal to nf nf will get cancelled out it will be e naught minus rt by this nf nf ln c to the power c into d to the power d divided by a to the power a into b to the power b this formula can further be written as 
e is equal to e naught minus we just have to change this natural log to a normal logarithm then for the, then we need to multiply this whole value by 2.303 so it will be 2.303 rt by n f it will be now log concentration of c to the power c concentration of d to the power d concentration of a to the power a concentration of b to the power b here we are dividing the overall concentration of the product by the overall concentration of the reactant okay and this is the required expression this is nonst equation nonst equation here what do we see there is this electrode potential at any condition and it, it can be calculated by using the value of standard electrode potential r that is universal gas constant t temperature f faraday's constant and means number of electrons and the concentration and this formula proves that the electrode potential of any cell depends on the temperature as well as the concentration of the reactants and products that is both the halves now this formula is applied in case of aqueous solution or dilute solution now for solid case we need to replace this concentration by the activity term and that is given by e is equal to e naught minus 2.303 rt by an f log activity of c to the power small c into activity of d to the power small d by activity of a to the power small a and activity of b to the power small b we can use this formula to calculate the value of the e as well e cell as well this is nonst equation now let's see some special cases related to nonst equation in the first case let's discuss how nonst equation can be applied when zinc rod is in contact with zinc sulfate solution that is when zinc rod is immersed in zinc sulfate solution then there must be a way to calculate the value of electrode potential of this half cell let's see that see zinc rod when immersed in zinc sulfate solution when let me draw a figure over here here it is zinc sulfate solution and if zinc rod is immersed in it then a reaction will happen over there as zinc has higher tendency to release electrons then it will behave as oxidation half right so zinc will release two electrons that is it will convert to zn2 plus ions and it will release two electrons this is in solid form and this must be in aqueous form so this has certain concentration obviously right now applying applying nonst equation we get now let's apply the nonst equation in this particular reaction then it will be e zn is converting to zn2 plus so zn zn2 plus will be equal to e not zn zn2 plus we have this value okay minus 2.303 rt by nf log the concentration of the product that is zn2 plus by the concentration of the reaction that is zn we are not writing electrons because it will not have any concentration that's why it doesn't have any effect over here we do not need to write it and this reaction can be written as zn zn2 plus is equal to e naught zn zn2 plus minus 2.303 rt by how many electrons are moving over there two so in place of n we need to write 2f right log and as we can see over here this zinc zinc is solid its concentration will be taken as one so this can be removed and it will finally be j and 2 plus so this is the value sorry this is the formula by using by using which we can find the value of the electrode potential of zinc electrode when it is kept in zinc sulfate solution here it depends on the temperature and it depends on the concentration of zinc sulfate ions so this is the first case now let's see the same case for copper immersed in copper sulfate solution when copper is immersed in copper sulfate solution like this 
you know, because there is copper sulfate solution having certain concentration and this is the copper electrode. In this case, there will be a reaction. Copper has higher tendency to gain electron. That means it will behave as reduction half in a cell. So, copper ion from the electrolyte or the solution will gain two electrons and it will convert to copper metal or solid. This is in aqueous form. Now, we have a reaction. We can apply the Nernst equation over here. So, applying, applying Nernst equation, we get, if we apply the Nernst equation over here, then we can write E, Cu2 plus is converting to Cu is equal to E naught Cu2 plus Cu minus 2.303 RT by NF log the concentration of the product that is Cu by Cu2 plus. So, this is the formula of Nernst equation applied in this particular case. Now, this formula can be written as E Cu2 plus converting to Cu is equal to E naught Cu2 plus converting to Cu minus 2.303 RT by in place of N we can put 2 F and it will be log. Look at here the concentration of this Cu will be 1. The concentration of Cu2 plus can be found out but this is in the denominator. Let's take it to the numerator then what will we get? Cu2 plus and in log case if we do that we need to put a negative sign in front of it. This negative and this negative will give us a positive value. So this is the required Nernst equation applied in this particular case. By using this equation, we can find the electrode potential of the copper electrode emerged in copper sulfate solution. So in this video, we studied what Nernst equation actually is, what is its formula and we applied the Nernst equation in some particular cases and we saw how we can calculate the value of the uh, electrode potential of different half cells by using Nernst equation. That's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.